July 14th and 15th, Defeating the Devil is just one of the check boxes to happen and some incredible speakers. Oh, Talk yeah. to me about Dr. Medina Pullins. Well, Dr. Medina Pullins, she's an evangelist who's gone all over the world. Uh, she came last year to our conference and she was just, uh, had a pure heart and she uh, preached the word you know, with clarity. And our women grew so much from mm -hmm. it. So she's a powerful, she's a young lady. I think she's in her 30s and God's just using her in a great way. And I thought, you know what? God, if I can get her here to Lima, I believe that she's going to uh, be used as a vessel to touch lives. And so I'm excited about her coming. All right, well, you have an opportunity to hear Dr. Medina as well. Here's a short segment from one of her previous talks. She is coming to this women's conference. Here is Dr. Medina Pullings. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Psalms 139. I feel God in this place. Hallelujah. See, God loves us so much that he tells us, he tells us the truth. He tells us the truth, you know. After we get, how do we know we've had a real encounter with God when we get off the floor and we do something different? When the woman did, this is what Shiloh is about. I mean, the, the worship and the word and, and that encounter with the presence of God. The woman at the well, when she had an encounter with Jesus, she didn't go looking for another man. She said, come see a man. <laughs> He had an encounter with God. Huh? Saul had an encounter. He had an encounter with God. I mean, he, he had an encounter with Jesus. I mean, he was going around persecuting the Christians and felt right about it. He was strong and wrong, killing folks. I mean, taking them out. And, and then he had a real encounter. Pam. And then all of a sudden, he wasn't doing that no more. You could be in, in adultery and have an encounter with God and you, and, and you tell that person that you was meeting up with, we can't meet no more. It's over. Why? Because I had an encounter with God. The liar lies no more. The thief, come on, steals no more. Hallelujah. Because we had an encounter with God. Yes, Lord. See, God wants to get something to you. I don't know why he had me mentioned in those times, but he wants to get something to you and he don't want you to block him. Don't be provisional. I don't block him. Come and make it from this day forward. And some of you going to go right to your pastor and say, Pastor, uh, I want you to know from this day forward, you, you, you can count on me to honor God, to bring what belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't let the basket just pass by you and you wave over it. Put something in it. Somebody looking at me like, I got two heads. That scripture, the Bible says, when thou goest into the house of the Lord, bring it up. Psalms 139, this is getting real funny. Okay. I will confess and praise you, for you are fearful and wonderful, and for the awful wonder of my birth. Wonderful are your works, and that my inner self knows right well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret and intricately and curiously wrought as if embroidered with various colors in the depths of the earth, a region of darkness and mystery. Your eyes saw my unformed substance, and in your book all the days of my life were written before ever they took shape, when as yet there was none of them. How precious and weighty also are your thoughts to me, O oh God. How vast is the sum of of them and it goes on to say that they cannot even be numbered and so we want to share with you on today as this has been all week and long about the purpose and the destiny that God has called you to to be a higher expression of him in the earth and so when we look here in the scripture we see uh, David speaking and, and talking about how God when he created him he created him in secret that is something right there that would just get you interested to want to know what shall it be. Even, uh, especially in the older days, when someone became pregnant, you know, it was the mystery of, is it a girl or is it a boy? Now you can go and get the sonograms and, you know, and find out, okay, something going on here is a girl or it's a boy. But it's a mystery there that, that is yet to be revealed. 
Well, I want you to know that beyond uh, just your mom birthing you and finding out that, hey, it's a boy or it's a girl, mm -mm, and God knew exactly what he was doing, boy, girl, mm -mm. and so, so, And people try to introduce other things, and then they say, you know, I was born that way. No problem with that. Folks was born liars. Come on, cheaters, huh? Just be born again. I'm sorry. I'm part of the remnant group. I still believe holiness is right. And we can't create our own way. There's only one way to God. Got many different paths. Get broad, broad Street to take you to hell. Y'all quiet up in here. See the enemy dinging and all kind of stuff out there in front of believers now, in front of Christians and especially preachers. And every preacher, you got to check them every, every every couple of years and find out whether they still believe what they said they believe. Because some of them don't believe what they used to believe. And now they have all this inclusion stuff and, and they allow when those that are personalities on television to introduce a new God to them. Somebody say the devil is a liar. And that's why God has Shiloh. And that's why God has you to be a solution to a modern ill, to a problem in the society. And so God brought you here even on this weekend to jumpstart you into your future. Lord have mercy. Let me tell you something. The mundane that held you down, the stuff of just average everyday life that, that served as an interruption to distract you from the main thing that God has called you to do, that thing is being put under. It is being destroyed. It, in other words, it's not that the same old things won't happen, but it won't work on you no more. God is making you like an eagle. You are rising above it. You're, you are above anything petty. You're going to be focused on your assignment. This church is united. This church is going over, hallelujah, into the new thing. Come on, it's an Isaiah 43, 19 moment. Behold, I will do a new thing in you. Now it shall spring. Oh. All right, that's just a short snippet from Dr. Medina Pollings. You can find more from her on YouTube or you can see her live. She is coming to the Embracing God's Glory Own It Women's Conference July 14th and 15th at In Faith Ministries here in Lima. And you can go to their website or you can call them to register for the event. There's the information on the screen. 225-8871 is the phone number or you can go on their website and you can register that way.